Hi guys, Leanne here from Team Monkey and Barefoot. So for our video this week, I just wanted to give you a quick update on some of the things that we've been doing and we've had a few firsts, so I thought that'd be really nice to share them with you. But before I do that, I would just say happy December. Can't believe we are already in December. It's now the 2nd of December because it's Monday. Um, and where has the time gone really? But I hope you're all kind of well. Um, and thank you very much for watching this video and for continuing on the journey with us. So, um, what have we been up to recently? So, I'll start with a few first. Big one, Theo is now standing up and on furniture, pulling himself up in his cot, um, kind of cruising around the furniture, so that's been a lot of fun. He's been crawling for a while, but now that he's doing that and pulling himself up, we've really um, got our baby proofing kind of in full swing now so we are covering up plug sockets and putting those kind of soft corners on the um our coffee tables and things like that just so that he doesn't bump his head so that's been a really big learning experience actually because things that i would never think that he'd be able to pull himself up on he finds a way and he does it so <laughs> yeah the days are becoming very interesting with him and it's obviously a lot of fun now following him around and seeing what he's interested in, the things that he wants to play with and the different rooms that he wants to go into. So that's one of the firsts that we've had this week. The second first is, I guess, a first for Theo and for us. So Theo stayed with his grandparents on Saturday night while Jermaine and I went and had a Thanksgiving celebration with some of our friends. And it was actually, I think, really good for him and really good for us. So we got out, we had went and we spent some time with friends and caught up with them, um, had a few too many drinks, um, yeah, definitely a few too many drinks, but hey, what are you going to do on your first baby free night? So we did that, um, and it was actually really nice because Theo then had a great time, he stayed at my parents' house, and it was, I think, really lovely for him because he's got a great relationship with all of his grandparents, his two nannies and his granddad. He absolutely loves all of them. So it was really lovely for him to go and stay there, for them to get the time with him. And yeah, I think it's just really good for us. And that was a big first. And one of the ones that I was actually quite worried about because I just hadn't done it before. I'm so used to kind of being the one that if he needs anything in the night, then I go and do that. And so I just thought, oh, you know, it's a big thing, I think, to leave him overnight. It feels a lot different to during the day. I'm not sure why, but it, it does. Um, so yeah, so that was that was a big one for us, but really pleased we did it because it's kind of nice for Jermaine and I if we want to have some time, just the two of us, then we know that the option is there for him to go stay with one of his grandparents. Um, and I think good for Theo, it's nice for him to experience different things. And he's such a sociable little boy that, yeah, I think it was great for him. And so. Not only is he standing up and crawling, he had his first his first sleepover, which was great. Um, also, another first which actually happened today is Theo settling in sessions at nursery. And I think this is why I've got this fixation with I can't believe it's December already, because he starts nursery in January, which is only next month. And that's also when I go back to work. So it all seems like it's coming so quickly. So we really feel like... At this point we're being having to get really organized and i think the lead up to christmas for us is always quite busy i think usually work is very busy plus you've got lots of family events and work events you're trying, trying to see friends before christmas and while we have those things going on as well this year getting ready for christmas and all of those lovely things that go with that we've also got the prospect that i go back to work next month so getting ready for that which means that then yes theo starts nursery next month and yeah, his first settling in session today, which went so well. I really didn't know what to expect, what, how I'd feel about going there with him, how Jermaine would feel about that, because we did it together, and actually how Theo would respond to his nursery. And I have to say, it was an overriding success. Theo, I think he wouldn't have minded if we weren't there at all. <laughs> so this was an hour session where we went, filled out some forms, met Theo's key worker, which is the person who's going to be responsible for designing his um his learning the different things that they're going to try with him all of his next steps um and we got to meet her which was really lovely plus theo got to meet the other children at the nursery and also just experience the whole environment play with the toys um and just see what it's like to be in 
that environment because obviously it's just a normal nursery day for a lot of the children so he had to kind of fit in with them and integrate and do kind of normal nursery things um, that he seemed to really enjoy it. Jermaine and I stayed in the room with him for the first half an hour um, filling out the forms while he was with the nursery staff and the other children playing which he loved and then we left him for half an hour and went and had a coffee next door um, which yeah we both walked out of the room um, and we were a bit like oh don't really know how we feel about leaving him there but we knew that he'd be okay we we're okay and he seemed to love it so it was a great success so really really pleased that that first session went well um, and we have now weekly sessions at his nursery of kind of longer and longer periods so this first one was an hour then I'm going to take him back next week for two hours then the following week for three hours and then after the Christmas period we go back in January and I think he's going for pretty much um, quite a full day so it's 10 till 3 he's going for so he'll eat there and play there and I think at that session that's where I leave him for maybe the whole period as well um, and just be there right at the beginning and right at the end so yeah it feels like we're having kind of this nice run up to Christmas but also lots of firsts. Theo's obviously developing really quickly with his now standing and cruising and I'm sure it's not going to be very long before he's walking which again will be another adventure but we've got nursery and me getting ready to go back to work as well so now I'm really having to think about um, with Jermaine we're thinking about these things together but the logistics of how we drop him off at nursery pick him up my working pattern um also having to think about what projects I want to work on when I go back to work so it just seems like there's lots of things going on at the minute so it's a really busy time but also a really fun time because Christmas is always such a, a lovely and great period and we really enjoy it we really place kind of a big emphasis on the family time that we have not only the three of us but also with with our parents and siblings and nieces and nephews and, and also friends so it's a really really lovely period of time that we're spending now and also all of these these new and exciting things that we're doing um so yes yeah, so i just really wanted to give you a bit of a brief update on those things what's going on and how we're feeling about them and i guess we'll continue to update you on all of the new things that are going on and how theo kind of continues to settle into nursery and the lead up to christmas and me going back to work so yeah so i hope i hope you've enjoyed this very brief update on what's going on and we will definitely be back to speak to you again next week and again thank you so 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 much for all of your support watching our videos giving us comments sending us messages it really really means a lot to us and we're just so so grateful that you're you're there on this journey with us so thank you very very much um and yeah enjoy enjoy your weeks and we will speak to you again next week okay take care